Okay, guys, let's talk about workout number one. Okay, I'm going to give you a bunch of these that you can do, but this is workout number one. When you look at workout number one, you're going to see you're going to do three or four sets of each of these exercises. That means you're going to go through all these exercises once, that's one set. You're going to go through it twice, that's the second set. Three times, that's a third. And if you're energetic, you're going to do a fourth. We have inchworms times 10, V-ups times 10, basic squat times 10, push-up times 10, and skater times 20. And I say 20 for that because we're going to count on the left side, right side, left side, right side. You can do 10. You can go uh, cross, cross, left. Every time you hit the left, you count it, but I count it by 20. So I'm going to go through all these exercises for you just with some keys like we did that day outside. And then when you want to do this workout, you refer back to the video. I highly recommend that if you have some sort of music that you want to play while you're doing it, it's probably a very good idea. Get you a little more interested. Let's turn that down a bit. All right, so first, let's talk about the inchworms. We went through those outside that day. I'm going to go through a couple of keys for that. The keys for this is that our legs stay straight in this. We want to stretch out our, our hamstrings on this one, our calves, and we want to use uh, stretch out our um, quads as well. So basically, feet shoulder width apart. Remember, you're not going to fall outward. You're going to go straight down until you touch the ground. I know some of you cannot touch the ground bending your hands down. So if you can only get to here, here is when you go out. Okay, so the interim is very basic. Legs stay straight, down till you touch the ground. Once you touch the ground, you walk yourself out slowly until you're in a plank, nice and straight. Not like this, not like this, nice and straight. Walk yourself all the way back, up, tap of above. Back down again, walk yourself out, walk yourself all the way back, touch above. The reason I want you to touch above is so I know you get all the way to the top and you reach up as high as you can. The next one is a V-up. You won't be doing it this way, but generally the V-up is done with a ball. You're going to do it without a ball, okay? Uh, but later on, maybe some of you will get a ball like this. If you have a ball like this at home, I'll show you what you do with the ball. But for now, we're going to do it without the ball. Okay, and basically for a V-up, I'm going to go this direction. I hope you can see here. Hands and legs are stretched straight out. So you're open up. You're going to close together. Notice when I close together, my shoulders come slightly up off the ground. Come back out. Do not touch the ground. Up. Head slightly off the ground. Come back. Do not touch the ground. Up. Come back. Do not touch when you come back. So that's our second one. Third one is your basic squat. Okay, so basic squat I'm going to show from here. Again, feet shoulder width apart. Anything we do in the way of exercising, we want our feet shoulder width apart. We're not going to exercise like this. We're not going to exercise like this. We want to be feet shoulder width apart. So feet shoulder width apart. I remember we talked about supinating the toes. So see how my toes are pointed straight forward? I'm going to bring them out just a smidge so that it's almost like I'm a pigeon. Okay, so I supinate those toes a little bit. What that does is allows my knees to come outward. So here, supinate the toes a little bit. I want the hands straight out front. And you're just going to come down slowly to here and back up again slowly. I don't want you going down quick. Nice and slow down until you get to like your chair and back up again. That's the squat. Push-ups, we'll go through it again. I'll do it on a side angle. Remember what I said before about the push-ups. If you cannot go all the way down to the ground and all the way back up in a normal push-up, I want you to go to a beginner push-up. Don't call it a girl's push-up, it's a beginner's push-up. So your push-up, again, remember when we're looking at this, our hands are shoulder width apart. I don't want to see this. Okay? I want your hands shoulder width apart because that's going to engage your triceps, which is a good part of your shot. Okay, so hands shoulder width apart, that's how you set your hands up. So again, we come down, 
we set our hands up, toes, toes. Now notice my head's not over my hands. It's out front of my hands. Everybody see that? This is wrong, this is right. I'm gonna come down and back up again. Again, don't go quick. Go down nice and slow, come back up nice and slow. If you can't do those, you put the knees here, cross the feet, down, and back up. Okay. The last one is the skaters. So for me, I have one of these things that I use when I do skaters. And yes, I do skaters. Skaters are a great thing for, for athletes. Remember, athletes don't train the same as mom and dad might at the gym. We train a little different than that. Okay, so, starting on this side. Back, cross the legs. Four, back. Notice the legs cross and the hands crossing at the same time. And try to get wider with it. Try to get as wide as you can with it. Back and forth. There you go. So you should be able to do that workout until we do another one. You should be able to do that workout twice a week. When I give you a new workout, you're going to do maybe three or four workouts per week. Bye for now.